How did you meet Johnny J? Well, I met Johnny J the first time Tupac called me to come to the studio. I met him and his wife, Cappuccino. They were always together. She was always there. And we instantly bonded. It was great. And we just became close after that. You know, I would always, they would invite me out to their house. We would, um, you know, do things, uh, you know, cook and make music, just create all the time. I did a lot of stuff for Johnny, you know. Did a lot of stuff for Big Psych and him. He even wanted, uh, you know, they were always trying to help me, you know. When Dre was, like, taking a minute to do my stuff, they tried to find things for me to do, you know. He even wanted me to be in a group with his wife sometimes. He's like, y'all should do a group, man, see you and Cappuccino, who I love. I'm still cool with Cappuccino. We still communicate. Um, so that's all I met him. What was your relationship like with Johnny J? It was very um, cool. We were, um, you know, we were pretty close. They would call me out. If they would go to Vegas, I would be in L.A. working. They're like, Nancy, come on, get on a plane and come out here and hang with us. I would go out there and hang out with them, you know. And um, he would always call me to work on his project, on songs for me. And um, I say we were close. As far as that goes, you know, I had just met them, like I said, right before um, Pac died. I met him um, then, so I didn't know them that long, but um, we were just really cool. And he respected me, Johnny J did, and he respected my talent, and he always tried to help me, and his wife also. Out of curiosity, because there have been some rumors about Johnny J's death, so I wanted to ask you, how do you personally feel about Johnny J's death? That's another one that I can't believe. I, it's just really weird what happened. I haven't really talked to his wife in depth about that because I haven't seen her. I've been out here back east. We just communicate via phone. But I guess one day maybe I'll sit down and talk with her about it. But it just seems odd because if you know Johnny J, he's not the type that would take his life. I don't know what he was going through at that time. I don't know. I have to talk to her about that, which, you know, that's not something that's urgent to me. It's just sad that he's gone. And I just know that, you know, Johnny J, a lot of people were kind of upset with him because, you know, he did fight for what he earned and what he deserved and for all the hard work and he was rewarded. And some people didn't like that, <laughs> you know. And I think, you know, I don't know if that could have been an issue when he went in jail, you know, maybe some people knew. I don't I just think it was weird how that happened, but I don't know the, you know, specifics to what happened. So I can't really say, but I think that's another, that one is really, really sad because Johnny J was so full of life and he was so funny and so fun and loved his wife and his kids and he loved life. He loved music. He was so proud of, you know, what he accomplished. Um, he loved Tupac. That was horrible, you know. He took that really hard. And um, it's just amazing that those two are dead, you know. And even Dave Aaron, the engineer that was with us, he passed away recently. Young, you know, these, it's like, it's kind of unreal. But Johnny J was the one that, that was another one that really hurt me because I was closer to him than I was to Pac. And um, it's just, it was a shocker. I feel bad for his wife and his kids, you know. Do you think it was any foul play involved in Johnny J's death? It seems like it, but I don't know because, look, when you go in jail, anything can happen. I don't know. I can't get that straight. I would have to get more information. I, I got to get more information on that. <laughs> I got to get and I probably wouldn't be able to tell because, you know, I know these are things, like I know his wife is going to tell her story. So sometimes, you know, I don't like to invade in that space because I'm, I don't have an authority on that. I, don't, I wasn't around for that situation. But, you know, I can say personally, I felt when I heard about it, I felt it was foul play because I knew the history and what he was, what was going on, you know, what he had fought for, you know, and I was like, wow, I wonder if it was foul play because it's easy, you know, the people that were upset at him had people in jail, you know, and it could have happened. 